This is Jeff and Wilma Budron, and I'm going to show you how you make a mini worm farm. It costs you probably less than ten dollars. I have here these buckets here, these ten litre buckets. They're pre-loved. You can pick these up for around two or three dollars. So I have three of those. First of all, you want a bucket without any holes in it. The worm tea will end up in that. And you want another bucket here with holes in the bottom. 3 8 or 10 mil, something like that. So I'm just going to drill a series of holes in the bottom of that. I like to do things uniform, so I'm going to put one over here. Now, then I'm probably going to put two rows of holes around here. All these bits off the drill, you can just tear them off if you want. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the second bucket. And now we have our bottom bucket without any holes in it. Our first bucket, and we've got a bit of this flexible fly screen cut to fit over all those holes. So that sits there. Now, we have a quite a decent gap. So the size of the gap, the distance between there and there, should be equal to the gap in there for the water. And as long as we drain the, the worm tea out, we shouldn't drown any worms. We won't need this bucket until a bit later on. So now it's time to put some breather holes in the lid. I have the smallest drill that I own. What would that be? About two or three, about three millimetres, something like that. So it's only a small drill. So I'm just going to put a series of holes in a circle. You want to drill holes small enough so they can get air, but you don't want a lot of things getting into the, into your worm thumb. I've had these, the shredded paper soaking for about half an hour in water. So I'm just going to put, lay that across the bottom. Now this bucket here has a real generous amount of worms in it and you can look at the video that we did a little while ago showing how to find your own compost worms. Now this has a lot of worms in it and I was just showing one of our honey customers. Now Wilma's going to make one of these, this is, so we need a new one of those for our new worm farm. All it is is just an old bit of towel, about three layers of towel. Four layers. Four layers of towel sewn together and that's the, the mat for it. And you can see a whole heap of little baby ones in that mat, all through that mat here, all through it. So I'm just going to transfer any of this that's got a lot of worms in it into our new worm farm. Large ones and small ones. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Especially in that little bit there. I'm going to put them on top, give them a new home. Look at all the worms in that. Yeah, wow, it's like a snake pit. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at all the worms in amongst that. That was all worms that we found in the compost. Look at the worms in that cluster there. Yeah. You watch what I open that up. Yeah, heaps. That's beautiful. I'll put that in there. It's amazing how quickly they multiply. Well, I, I don't think they've, in the short time we've had them, I don't think they've had much of a chance to multiply, but I think we had a lot of real little baby ones in a lot of the stuff that I oh. transferred. And oh. I think a lot of those babies are starting to grow. grow. Oh. See, I'd, I'd find a, a little clump of grass and it'd just have oh, a heap of little babies in there, just like that up there you can see there yeah. this seems like if you put your fingers in there and grab something you don't seem to do any harm to them I, I found that when I was gathering them you, you don't seem to hurt them they seem to be quite able to tolerate sort of handling look at the worms in that wow look at them every bit I open up it's just got worms in it yeah and I'll put those in. 
I'm going to do a talk on Monday at the ABC. I'm going to take this new one into the studio and it'll probably, I'm going to tell him it's probably the smallest one they've ever had in the studio. <laughs> probably the only one. <laughs> probably the only one. I might as well put this mat on top of that and I'll make a new mat for the old one. I've got some of this compost worm thick shake that I made yesterday. This has banana skins, eggshells, vegetable scraps and egg carton all mashed into a sort of a slurry. I'm going to spoon some of that in. Just a few dollops here and there. Now that will make them very happy. So that'll do that and I'll put some in the other one. I'll close that up. The idea of this other bucket here so when the level gets about half full, what I can do is put this bucket on top of it, gently put it on top, start putting food in this one, and then put the mat on top of that, and then once the worms have consumed everything in the bottom bucket and turned it into worm castings, they will come up through those holes and start feeding on everything in the top bucket. And then once that happens, I can take that outside and use it as fertiliser. Yes, beautiful, rich fertiliser. Oh, well, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.